COVID cases are rising nationally, and Los Angeles and Maricopa counties are both seeing a large increase in cases. Crockett News reporter Madison Thomas learned how the two different counties are handling it. President Joe Biden is one of the latest people to test positive for COVID-19, and he is not alone. According to the CDC, the number of cases in the U.S. have been increasing. What CDC recommends when you hit that high community level is to wear a mask when you're indoors. So that's anywhere except where you live at home. Dr. Sunshine says nothing is required in Maricopa County. There is legislation that restricts local and county health departments from requiring masks. LA County is handling the situation differently. If they remain in high community level through July 28th, universal indoor masking will be immediately implemented on July 29th. We are not closing anything down. We are not asking people not to gather with the people they love. We are not asking you to forego activities you love. We're asking you to take a sensible step when there's this much transmission with a highly transmissible variant to go ahead and put back on a well-fitting, high-filtration Mask. Dr. Sunshine says numbers in public health are always underrepresented, so they focus on trends, and the trending upward of cases could be from the BA4 and BA5 subvariants. One thing that has made tracking the number of cases not just harder here in California and in Arizona, but all over, is the use of at-home test kits like this one. While they make testing easier and faster, positive test results are not always reported. Know that in order for a case to be reported to public health, it actually has to go through a laboratory. So we're probably not getting a lot of cases reported to us from those at-home antigen tests. The BA4 and BA5 subvariants also appear to have the ability to evade prior immunity. In Los Angeles, Madison Thomas, Cronkite News. Dr. Sunshine says it is important for people to continue to get vaccinated and receive their booster vaccines.